has stole my private property. I'm telling you, we if we have to, we will break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Why don't you educate them rather than harassing me? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's got the lights on! It's yellow. I did do it, so you didn't crash into me. You're the dumbest guy I've ever seen in my life! Hello guys, at the end, as always, the most interesting video is waiting for you. But first, I want to show some cases that surprised me. Please support me with your likes and comments, and let's get started. Yeah, how can I help you? What are you doing in it? What do you mean? Any business? And when you look for pay a ticket or something like that? Or? Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, can you list 24. Okay. Okay, yeah. are you looking for something? Are you looking for something? Am I being this hand? No, you're not. I'm just asking okay. if you were, why were you in the in the building? Do, do you have business in there? I'm asking you a question. Why are you obstructing my walking? Okay, but I'm asking you a question. And you just said I wasn't detained. No, you're not, but I'm asking you a question. You're under investigation okay. Oh, right okay. now. All right. For suspicious activity inside the building. It's suspicion of crime? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a government building, yes. So suspicion is it, what, is it a, is it a misdemeanor or felony? It doesn't matter. It I'm does asking, matter. I'm asking you a question. Why, what, wait, did you need help from in there? I'm asking you a question. It's suspicion of crime. I'm asking you the question. Do you need help from in there? Do you need to pay a something? Do you need suspicion of crime? It's suspicion of crime? Can I walk? You just said I was anyway. detained. Anyway. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, don't come back into the building, okay? Don't give me that right this. Okay, that's a public don't, building. Okay, don't. It's a, that's, it's a, that's, a, that's the, that's the a people. That's a government building. That's who that this cop think he is. He didn't introduce himself and started the interrogation right away. I they friends, not all idiots were paged. Only cops. It's the people's building. And they feel threatened by That's your the actions. people's okay. building. Okay. What go actions? Go what actions? Go what go actions? Go you enforce feelings or you enforce law? I'm sorry? Do you enforce feelings or do you enforce law? It's got to do with feelings. I enforce laws. You, you say they say feel you, threatened. They say you, they, they do. I didn't threaten them. Okay. But they I felt asked threatened. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to conduct felt. business. So if you go in there to conduct business, that's fine. If you did an investigation, you would see that I went in there to conduct business. Okay. They told me Rather than enforce their feelings, you should enforce law. You are intimidating them. Intimidate him how? Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. What were you doing? I just asked that's for a four-year request. That's what I'm asking you. What were you doing? You should ask them. They called you. All right. Go about your way. Apparently don't give me that reckless. I'm a free man. You just said I'm not okay. detained. Okay. Not so why are you trying to tell me what to do? Okay. I'm not telling you what to do. Why don't you, edu why don't you educate them? <laughs> Sir. Why don't you educate them rather than harassing me? I'm not harassing them. You, you are. Simple questions, right? You just blocked my path. Does it piss you off too that if someone calls a cop, she doesn't look into the situation, but immediately blames you? Before you detain or arrest someone, do your research. I'm not First you said I wasn't detained and then you blocked my path. You raised okay, your voice not, at am me. Am I blocking your path now? Did I'm you not, take right? an oath to people's feelings or did you take an oath to the it, Constitution? It doesn't matter. Just go back. It does matter. Right. You're saying your oath to the right. Constitution doesn't you're matter? Done. You're done. You're free. You're a free citizen. Go okay, back. Okay, and, and I'm asking you a question. Okay, now I'm going to go by my Did way. you just say your oath to the Constitution doesn't matter? Take care, buddy. You may have already seen the full video, so I will show only the most interesting and leave uh, a link for those who want to see the full version. But I think additional publication will only support the author. Your idea on solving this. Yeah. Being you have no authority or jurisdiction over me is for me to get out of my private automobile and talk about what I just told you. And you can show me your passport. You got my passport, dude. I don't dude. have your passport. Them, those gentlemen do have my passport. The highway patrol do. Okay. Highway patrol, how about bring the passport so I can read it to the sheriff? Could you be so kind? So, Anko, if you come out and explain to me your passport, I'll hear your side of it. You've already heard my side. I've already told you my side. You can explain your passport to me. I don't need to explain it. You should know this as a LEO, I've shouldn't you? Your, I've never seen your passport. <laughs> well, then, I don't know what to tell you. We'll sit here all goddamn night. But I am not getting out of this goddamn private automobile to explain myself that I've already done. I'm asserting my rights to travel. I rarely see people who are so willing to stand up for their rights. And I have great respect for drivers like him. And I'm informing you that you have no jurisdiction or authority over me. So and you're not trying to accept it. Ask the guy to pull me over to get it. I'll show it to you. It's real simple. I'm not... 
This is real simple. You're making it difficult. I, I don't feel that I am. <laughs> well, I'm the one making it difficult right now. Right, because I won't do what you ask. I don't have to do what you ask. You have zero authority over me. I don't contract with foreign corporations. No authority, no jurisdiction. There's nothing in any law. How's it a contract for you to get out of your vehicle and explain your passport to me? I don't need to do any of that. I'm trying to nope. explain to you. I don't need to do any of that. I'm not saying you're... Go get the passport, you. bud, and I will read it to you. I was asking you to... Explain to me, why do I have to get out of the car? You can just communicate through the window too. The only reason you need to get out is if you want to the cops to throw you to the ground. I am asking you to go get my passport and I will read it to you. How about that? That makes all kinds of sense, but you ain't ready for that, are you? We're in a we're in a bind then. Okay, I, we're in a bind. I want you to get out and explain it to me. I'm not getting out of this private automobile. Not happening. Not happening. So ask them gentlemen politely, sirs, highway patrolmen. <laughs> May I please have my passport to read to the sheriff? They're not they're not gonna give it back to you until They're not gonna give it back to me. So you're telling me the Highway Patrol in Wyoming has stole my private property. Is that what you guys are telling me? You can claim. No, it's not a claim, know. sir. That's another matter of fact of law. Does that passport belong to any of you? Does that passport belong to any of you? The answer is no. Um, am I hearing things right? Uh, this cop says outright that he won't return the passport. So, uh, he's not even hiding the fact that he's a thief? This is insane. And if you're not giving that back to me, uh -huh. which is my said possession, what is that called? What's that called? As LEOs, you should know what that's. Let me know. That's called Let theft. Me. Okay. So, young man, may I have my passport, please, to read to the sheriff? Okay, the only way you're getting your passport is once you step out of this vehicle. Why do you want me out of this vehicle so bad, you guys? Because there is state law, case law, Pennsylvania versus... Case Michigan law is Ohio. not law. That's where you're wrong again. Case law ain't law. Okay. We're not, not even close. Not what you guys need to do is understand that I am correct. You have no authority over me, none. I don't have to get out of this private automobile. I don't have to obey your corporate bylaw speed limits. Okay, let me just explain this. <coughs> this little guy decided to give ultimatums. You only get your passport if you get out of the car. He's a little terrorist. Today he demands to get out of the car. Tomorrow he'll demand that helicopter and uh, a million dollars. You're not leaving here until you step out of the vehicle. Then we'll, I ain't leaving. I am not going anywhere. And your threats don't mean jack to me, bud. Well, it's, it's not a threat. It's to is. hell if it ain't. You're threatening me to get out of this vehicle so you can try and kidnap me. Meanwhile, you've stolen my property and you can't even admit that. It's the property of the United States government, actually, sir. It's a no, it is idea. not. Yes, sir. What is possession? It's, it, it is property. What is possession, I'm sir? I'm going to argue with you, sir. I know you can argue with me because you don't know the law. Possession is nine-tenths of it, correct? All I said was... Huh? All well, I said... When I stopped you, I didn't <laughs> say you're getting a ticket. I never said you're getting a ticket. I just want you to step out so we can talk face to face. We are talking face to face. Out of your vehicle. No, I'm not getting out of my private automobile. This ain't a vehicle. Okay? What is it then? It's a private automobile. If the passport isn't uh, personal property, then perhaps uh, the man's car isn't uh, private property according to the cop. Actually, Congress passed a law July 8th of this year then nobody in the United States needs a driver license unless they're dealing in commerce. Have you all been informed of that? I missed that one. Well, of course, because you guys are revenuers for a foreign corporation running under statutes and codes. 
None of you have ever studied the law. Okay? So just admit that you don't have authority over me, hand me my passport, and say I'm sorry for impeding your travel. What do I need to give you to get you out of your vehicle? Nothing. You ain't getting me out of this private automobile. Okay. Why would I? I haven't committed a crime. I'm giving you a willful officer, <coughs> a peace officer, to step out of your vehicle. You're doing what now? We'll be right back, okay? Okay. okay. Perhaps they should confer and discuss a plan not to embarrass themselves even more. I respect your beliefs. Which it's not a belief, you well. guys. Okay, this so ain't beliefs. This next time, I'm going to make you get out of the car. But that means I'm going to break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Understand? You, don't do that. Out. Don't do that. Okay. I'm telling you. I am telling you, if you do that, this is gonna go south quick. Okay. okay. I don't want it to go south. Well, I'm don't be you. breaking into my private property then or stealing my private property. Okay, then help us out, sir. I am. I've already helped you. I've educated you about the law, but you're not listening. Okay. You're not accepting the facts. Okay. Okay. We're not now I'm gonna ask you one more time. I would like my passport back. I would like to get on my way. I have critters with water freezing. I, I really don't have time for this. Okay, sir. I'm telling you, we if we have to, we will break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Do you want it to get to that, or do you want to come out and talk to us? Okay. Whereas before, the cops tried to give ultimatums, uh, now they have moved on to direct threats. Is that even normal? So you're threatening to break my private property. I'm telling you that and I have do you know under the to take law? you out of this vehicle if you do not comply with our orders. I don't have to comply with your orders. Yes, you do. No, I do I not. Do. Yes, sir. I do not. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're, we're going to have a gunfight on the side road is what we're going to have. We do not need to have a gunfight well, on the side of the road. Well, then you better start listening to sense. You need to start listening. No, sir. I do not need to listen to an agent of a foreign corporation. Okay. Okay? I asked you guys to go back there and call somebody in town that actually knows the law. Who's this person in town that knows the law? Apparently somebody. I would try with John Harlan as the sheriff and John ask him. John Harlan. Okay. And ask him. Okay. Well, we have a representative of the sheriff's office right here. And he was talking to you. I know, but that don't mean he knows the actual law. Look, I'm not trying to get anybody riled up. In the end, they gave him his passport. But for the way he bravely fought these cops, I think this man deserves your likes. But I apologize for doing that. What I'm trying to do is find a, a uh, an ending to this that's civil for both of us. Here's the simple ending. You guys admit that you have no authority over me. We can't do that, sir. Well, I'm sorry you can't do that. Okay. Well, but I am not going to allow you to violate my rights to travel. I will not allow you to, to damage my private property. Okay? okay? I'm telling you right now. I don't want to damage your private property. That's I, what I'm saying. Right. I don't want to at all. Okay. All I want you to do is get out of the vehicle so we can talk. That's it. That is it. And I won't damage your private property. Nothing. That's not it. happening. Okay. I don't have to get out of this vehicle. Okay, so why why are we coming to this? Why are we button heads there? Why don't you? Because you guys are not listening to the matter of fact of law. That's why. To the matter of fact of the, law. It's called the matter of fact of law. Okay. The fact of that matter is you have zero authority over me. Where I'm going to travel, how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do it in, and what placards I place on said private automobile. Okay. Okay? Just give me one second, okay? Before we get to the main video, I want to show you that even if you are arrested, you haven't lost yet. Pardon Contreras, I'm no longer under arrest. No, no. Okay. So, were you able to determine that there is no city ordinance about a knife as well? Yeah, what I did is I talked to uh, Lieutenant Lopez over at uh, Central, who said he's dealt with you. Yeah, he made yeah. the last unlawful arrest on me. Okay, yeah. And, and he knows about okay. handguns too. Yeah, so that's why I talked to him to find out more, you know, on the information and all that, and uh, to find out if there, what ordinance it was and all that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he said, you know what, you were right, there's supposed to be... Uh, those signs are eventually supposed to be taken down. I don't know if there's... He doesn't think there's been any kind of specific issuance 
to all the captains and all that or some kind of order saying to take down the signs. You're right. And that's all I can do is follow the signs that are there. I, I I'm a sergeant here. This guy was released from custody because he was able to prove his innocence uh, thanks to the video. Always video tape cops. I'm not. There, I, there's a lieutenant and I, a captain ahead of me. Hold, I, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. I'm just letting you know. So once I talked to uh, Lieutenant Lopez, you know, uh, he we checked you. You know, all you had was a condition of bond. Uh, whatever victim that you know they said not to approach or to school. Lieutenant to Lopez. No, 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 no. You That's the condition condi of bond on somebody else. No, it's it's yeah. a, it's at five fifteen South Rio. Okay. It's the police station. Okay. Lieutenant I, Lopez wasn't happy that okay. I cussed at him when he unlawfully arrested yeah. me. I don't know anything about right. it. I just know that, but it didn't include. Uh, a federal building or a government building like this. Right. So we talked about it and all that, and we looked at it, and and then he said, "Yeah, you know, uh, it it uh, I think you went to North Patrol, and the the captain there did take the sign down, and so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to our captain here. That's Captain Zuniga. He's the captain here. He's not here right now, and neither is my direct lieutenant." I don't believe in the sincerity of his words. All I wanted to show you is that shooting a video can always save you. And they can show that uh, apology up or there, you know where. So uh, that's why I called the lieutenant from a different substation. Okay. okay? To get more on that. Thank, and, thank uh, you. Yeah, and that's what's so, so, okay. You know what? No harm, no foul. Yes, we did put you, we detained you. You know, you're not being charged. You were put under arrest, if that's what you want to call it. But uh, we're not charging you with anything. Now that I know that there is no violation of a certain procedure or law or anything like that, uh, you know, you're Sorry, free to go. Sure it's the reason I do this is so that officers are educated. All right, friends. We are moving on to today's main video. Are you ready? Then let's get started. you doing man what are you doing what are you doing i am driving on the road because i'm a police officer so if i'm running your plate or I'm deciding I'm gonna turn, or I'm deciding I'm gonna pull you over is up to me. So and what's going on? I started to slow down to pull into this gas station. This video has gotten a lot of views, so I couldn't miss it. If you like it, post in the comments and uh, we'll discuss part two. And then the light and then turned! You, and then you slam on your brakes. Because the, the light the... turned! Do not it yell turned yellow. your license, please. The light turned yellow, what your do you license, mean? Please. Supposed to do when the light turns yellow. Your license, yellow. please. Thank you. Do you have your registration and insurance on you? Yeah, I do. You're supposed to have that on already, aren't you? It was on and ready, so you can worry about what I asked you for. What kind of insurance do you have on the car? Automotive. Okay, is it Geico? What's the switch? What's going on? Yeah, Geico. Perfect. Anytime. Well, what's the reason why you're talking? Driving down the road here, gets behind me. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a cop. I'm approaching this intersection. I slow down. I had my cruise control on 50, slowing down because I'm going to turn into the 7 Eleven. Yeah. I don't know. Apparently, she was on my ass real heavy. Okay. And the light turned yellow. And so I slowed down. I'm going to show you everything in accelerated mode. After a while, the second officer arrives. And the conversation continues with him. I hit my brakes pretty aggressively to slow down because I didn't want to, you know, run the red light. Yeah. And um, she almost crashed into me because she wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And so she got pissed off and pulled me over for it. Yeah. I got the whole thing videoed, man. I got like eight cameras going in here. <laughs> it shows my speed, it documents everything. Good. I, I'm driving down here doing 50. Got my speed control locked in. 
um, I'm approaching this gas station so I um, I start slowing down I slow down to about to around 35 40 miles an hour as I'm getting to this intersection uh, the lot I have my turn signal on still because um, I plan on pulling into the 7-eleven um, I didn't really notice the cop um, I, I did there was I did notice that there was a, a car in the lane next to me it came flying up um, do you think that supervisor's arrival will fix the situation and that woman will apologize? Or will he defend her? I think uh, the answer is obvious. Pretty fast from behind me, you know, had to be doing at least 60-65. It came from Del Prado, it turned onto Pine Island from Del Prado. Um, I was... By the time they turned, I was probably about a mile and a half in, in front of them. Okay. okay. I didn't realize it was, I wasn't paying attention that much and, and to know that it was a cop at the time. Um, I get up to, like I said, back to that. I, I, I get up to this intersection. <clears throat> the light turns yellow. I slam on my brakes a little bit. You know, not really slam them and skid or anything, leave marks, but I aggressively slowed down because I didn't want to run a red light, you know, because I ain't out running red lights and especially when you guys are doing DUI enforcements and those kind of things, you know. And I go out of my way not to break the law in general anyways, okay. And so, and at right at about the same time, she was... But the conflict could have been avoided if she would have came at him in a different way and owned uh, her mistake or even possibly apologized. That it could have been a whole different situation. Switching over lanes got behind me at the same time as I'm slowing down and, and then almost crashed into me. And had to jump over out of the lane and then back over to avoid crashing into me. I got it all recorded. 360 degrees. Okay, and, and this is where I ended up to avoid her from crashing into me. It was ridiculous. It's unsafe for the entire community. I mean, I, I want to file complaints on her. Sure, absolutely. So, what's your first name? What? What's your first Brian. Name? Yep. She's so, got everything. I'm her, her supervisor here okay. talking to you. If you want to file a complaint, I'd give you the information. You can see so online. Uh, have you ever filed a complaint on this before? No. So okay. Just how dangerous and risking my life, what she just did. I'll put the video out and I'll, I'll submit the video with the evidence to uh, Internal Affairs and, and, and it'll be pretty obvious at that point. It seems to me the supervisor is just pretending that she doesn't understand that scene in order to help that woman get away with it. The corruption is abuse. No, I, I told her it was Geico, so I assume she verified it. So, John, this is what I'm going to do. Obviously, we all have cameras as well. Can't do it tonight because we got to download our cameras overnight. Yeah. But, Brian, what's a good number for you? I don't have a number. Okay. I can I give you an email. Okay, go ahead. It's chuckbronson55 at gmail.com. Slow, slow Chuck for me. C H U C K. Bronson, B R O N S O N. B R O N S O N. Yes, sir. 55 five at gmail.com. Chuck Bronson55 five five at gmail.com. I hate it. People spell things differently. Hey, I don't mind. Assume. I'd rather you so get it Brian, right. What I can do is, you know, I can, I can, I can check in our side, uh, go through that and see, you know. See yeah, I'm, I'm going to FOIA either way, so. Sure, I appreciate it. What an amazing department. You can tell they truly care about making sure they do the utmost crap job of being a police officer. Every one of them had you pinned at the bad guy. Alright, so Brian, I wrote you a citation, okay? Here's the reason why. Right. <laughs> okay, so let's you, hear it. You can't stop in the middle of the intersection. If you're gonna I stop- I did do it so you didn't crash into me, stupid! Okay, Are you that. stupid? You're the dumbest I've ever seen in my life. What a f Stop it in the intersection. I did it so you didn't crash into me. You moron. You gotta be an idiot. I hope you don't like your job. You're gonna write a ticket for that. 
Do you realize I got eight cameras on you, stupid? That was a stupid mistake. That's why I got eight cameras for corrupt cops just like you. You're stupid. You have no business being on these streets. I feel very sorry for this man. Share your opinion in the comments. I promise to read every comment. She knows damn well the only reason I'm right here is because you about crashed into me. Dude, that's dirty, man. You cannot allow something like that to be on the streets. I'm going to make a big deal out of it. Thousands of people are going to see this and call. Hundreds of thousands. So this this is a pamphlet. And one of the one of the easier ways of filing a complaint if you choose. I, dude, I don't need help with that, man. I, I, do, I file complaints on cops for a living. Okay, well, it's cops.com. I know. Well, I know how to figure it out. No, hold on. It's I'll a, be at the PD tomorrow. There's a section called complaints. Getting her dash cams. So what you can do is obviously request and file the complaint there. If you go down to the police department, you can alter that. I appreciate form. you being 100% professional, man. No, I don't worry. You're man. awesome. So appreciate there it. you can actually fill out the paperwork and give it to the I know, I know. You don't have to run me through that. And if you choose, as you know, we have uh, the right to also solicit footage as well, you know. Sure. There's a procedure for that. You can ask that through records. I will. I I'll be doing it tomorrow. Records. I know how do to do it. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. Thanks for watching. I think there were very hot and interesting videos today. I will be grateful to you for your support, for subscribing, for your every like and every comment. Videos are released every day, so click on the bell to not miss. See you tomorrow.